Welcome back to the channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as we are going for 500. And before I start this video, I just want to hope you guys have a safe holidays. And let's get going as earlier today, Frank Severelli noted that the Edmonton Oilers are one of the teams actually interested in acquiring Travis Hamannick. He's currently a restricted free agent, or an unrestricted free agent, sorry. He spent the last, I believe it was three seasons in Calgary. Yeah, three seasons in Calgary. Uh, he was with the New York Islanders, which he got drafted to. He played two, four, six, seven seasons there. So he's a 10-season vet already in the NHL, dating back to 2010. And, you know, this kind of got me thinking, like, why would the Oilers be interested in acquiring another D? I know there was... Rumors about maybe Ben Hutton or Slater Koecki. But at the same time, we still have an RFA that's not signed. Like, is this maybe these insiders, do they know more than us right now? Is the talks with Ethan Bear done? Like, does Ethan Bear and the Edmonton Oilers can't decide on a contract right now? Or is it more, you know, there's a trade in the works? We have talked about that there has been rumors that you know the Edmonton Oilers and Ken Holland came out and said there will be more moves happening knowing when the regular season and all that's starting so this got me thinking well if you're going after a defenseman either a defenseman has to go out or you don't plan on playing the likes of Bouchard this year it could come down to that. Maybe they're not using Bouchard. Or they're not going to use Legison. Or, you know, Legison did sign a two-way deal for his first half of his contract with that extension. So then I got thinking, well, if it's not of that, it has to be a couple forwards going. Because Travis Hamannick's not going to come cheap. I see nowhere less than $3 million for Travis Hamannick. He's a proven NHL defenseman. He has some bad times, but he also has some good times. And his penalty numbers and plus minus have reflect that over the last four or five seasons. Where, you know, depending on who he plays depends on what he does. So now, the two forwards that we're talking about is Shuja Jarkera and Alex Jason. To me, those are the most expendable Oilers out there. I don't think anyone's going to take Neil from us. I believe Neil is kind of stuck here. Could there be a buyout? Potentially, but I don't think Colin wants to go down that route. We just got rid of, I believe it was Eric Griva off of our uh, buyout list there. They have players we have to pay for. So those are the only options is Kara, Chason, or Bear not signing. Well, Bear not signing is really unrealistic unless he pulls a pulley RV. But I don't think he's going to do that. I think he wants to play hockey. He loves the city of Edmonton. He loves playing with the guys. So let me know what you guys think. Because if the Oilers are in talks about acquiring Travis Hamannick, well, where are we getting this cap from? Is there a bio coming for James Neal? Is, you know, is there something that a lot of us Oilers fans would not consider doing, but Ken Holland going to pull the trigger? Say, maybe on trading Zach Kazian. You know, I love Kazian. I wouldn't want to see him go, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's not us being the ones that tell Holland what he has to do, what he can't do. It's Holland doing what he thinks for the better of this team. And a lot of people don't agree with Holland's moves, but we got to admit, he is better than Chirelli ever was. And, you know, maybe there's a bigger move. Maybe it's Adam Larson. Like, Larson's on his final year of his deal before the expansion draft. He's expendable. We never know. We I don't know why the Edmonton Oilers would go after another defenseman. 
that, you know, isn't going to be a seventh defenseman for the Edmonton Oilers. Let's be honest. Travis Hamannick is not a seventh defenseman. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Travis Hamannick is a top four defenseman. So who are you going to sit out? Chris Russell? You just signed him an extension so you didn't have to... So you could protect another defense for next year. So that's off the books. So I don't know where this is going. Is it maybe a Darnell Nurse trade? You know, Edmonton's been rumored to be shopping him before last season. Who knows? This is... When Frank Severelli came out and said this, he didn't give no reason how the Edmonton Oilers would make this work. That's what I'm trying to figure out, and I want you guys to think about this, because how is it going to work? How can the Edmonton Oilers physically try and get a guy like Travis Hamannick? And, like, well, look at his stats from his three years in Calgary. He played 74, 69, 50 games. He had 11 points, 19 points, 12 points. He was a minus 9 his first season in Edmonton. He was a plus 20. 21 second season and plus 3, sorry I said in Edmonton in Calgary plus 21 his second season, minus 3 last season, you know 79 penalty miss in the first season with Calgary but then it went down to 33 and 27 like, this guy's not a power play guy, he's a, more of a shutdown defenseman, looking at his numbers, he's hasn't had a terrible season, you know minus 21 for one season, his last season in New York, I believe it was. But where I just want to know, like, would I be against getting a guy like Travis Hamannick? No, I wouldn't. He's a pretty solid defenseman. I've watched him since he came into the league. I believe he actually played for the World Juniors. Now, where, like, it's just confusing. Like, I'm confusing myself trying to even talk about it, trying to even get an understanding. Like, yeah, I wouldn't be opposed to Travis Hamannick. But where is, like, where, how is it going to happen? I don't realistically see them saying, you know what, Bear, we aren't going to sign you this season. Then he could go through, or he's protected anyway. From the Seattle Kraken. Because he'd be an RFA. Someone could offer him a contract. But didn't this year. So is. It can't be Ethan Bear. It has to be some other move. I don't see a buyout. A buyout is a possibility. Don't get me wrong. But we already have. Benoit Pouliot. And I believe it's Sector on our buyout still. I would have to double check that. That we're still paying out. So let me know in the comments. Like what you think. The salary. Where the salary cap space is going to come. Maybe Adam Larson is. You know getting traded. Like who knows. Anyway. I hope you guys have a safe holidays. And a Merry Christmas. Enjoy it with your family. I got to go dress up as Santa Claus now. For my little ones. But I'll catch you guys on the next one.